Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a full glam makeup look. I want to do something that's like perfect for the holidays, so nice and full coverage and really just, you know, holiday appropriate, gold on the lid, red on the lip, you know how it is. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's do this. I just went ahead and primed my eyelids because you guys have seen that a million times and also my brows. So let's move on to the eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Naked Heat Urban Decay palette. Now I haven't used this, I mean I think I've used it like once or twice and everyone seems to like love it. So I just want to give it another go because the colors in here look amazing but I never had any luck with the first two palettes. I literally hated them so much. Like they weren't pigmented and they just weren't like as rich as I'd hoped. So Let's see what we can do. I'm going to take the shade Sourced, this one right here, and that's going to go in my crease as a transition. And the brush that I'm using is the Inglot 6SS brush. Oh my god, this brush is like too big to like dip in there. I'm just going to take this in windshield wiper motions. Oh my gosh, this brush is so soft. It's literally the best brush for the crease. Well, so far this color is nice and pigmented. So I'm impressed. So I'm going to a movie premiere tonight for Pitch Perfect 3. I'm so excited because the first two were amazing. I'm going with John. And I noticed a lot of people on my last videos were asking about me and John. But, oh, so many freshies. I'm over it. But I will let you guys know what's happening when I'm ready. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite brush ever and look what's happened to it. Something's happened to it. Okay, this is the Morphe M514. I'm still going to use it anyway. And the next color I'm going to take is... Hmm. I'm going to pick up this color right here and that's going to go in the crease, like close to the crease. And we're going to deepen up the outer corner of the eye. Just going to be something that's really easy to wear. I love warm tones so much. It looks so good. So I'm just starting by popping that on the outer corner and then I like to blend that into the crease afterwards. Then I'm going to take that original color and blend out the edges. And next I'm going to take this color right here and I'm just going to put that only on the outer, like outer half of my crease because I really want to deepen that area up. Just there. Just a touch of it. Next up, I'm going to go in with the Tarte, what is this? Park Avenue Princess Chrome Paint Shadow Pot. I'm so excited to use this because honestly, this looks like the most beautiful bronzy gold shade and it's like a pressed eyeshadow. So I'm hoping it's very like foiled looking. I like when my eyeshadows are like super texturized. So I'm just going to put this on the inner part of my lid. Ooh, that's nice. I feel like if you use your finger though, it'll definitely be more pigmented. Well, more textured. The glitter in here is definitely like big chunks. It's not like fine glitter, which I like. It's different. I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus so we can get this very intense. That's better. Beautiful. Then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to use that to fade the two colors together. So I'm just going to lightly pat over that dark cranberry shade here. The next thing I'm taking is the Ultra 3 Metallic Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Liquid Gold. So I'm just going to create a little wing with this and then I'm going to go over it with a black eyeliner. I'm hoping this works out. I'm not sure. It's like a light gold. It's really pretty. I've used it before though, so this could be interesting. Okay, wow. It's actually starting to sting my eye. Hmm. Okay, now to go in with the black eyeliner. This is, this is the hard part. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and fix that later, but for now, I'm going to go in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black, I always fuck that up, Giga Black, Giga Black Lash. There we go. I'm just going to coat my lashes. That eyeliner is cracking already, that's so annoying. If you guys know of any gold eyeliners, let me know. One wing liner goes up, one goes out. Great. Beautiful. Just what I wanted. Now for the primer, I'm taking this one from Makeup Forever. This one's 
I was going to say in the shade. <laughs> this one's the hydrating primer. So I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand and then blend it out all over my face with a brush because I probably have glitter all over my fingers from that eyeshadow stuff we have going on. Oh, this lip product is seriously amazing. Where is it? It's the Lano Lips 101 Ointment and it's um, a multi balm conditioner. <laughs> To get rid of the flyaways, I always just like put random products in my hair. <laughs> Ew, I just touched up with my face, gross. I've been obsessed with this foundation lately. It is the NARS Velvet Matte Foundation Stick in the shade Barcelona Medium 4. So this is what I've been using every day. It's definitely not a full coverage. Oh, wrong side. It's more of like a light to medium coverage, but I'm just going to see if I can build it up today because I just love the color. I really need to go get some... Um, more of the NARS foundations because this color matches so well and That's definitely rare for me as you guys know <laughs> If you don't want a lot of coverage though, this is amazing I'm just gonna blend that in with my kabuki brush. Oh, I gotta take my lip balm off It leaves a really nice finish as well. Like it looks super natural and just healthy I'm so happy right now because I got my little sister to clean my makeup brushes last night so all of them are clean. It's literally just the best feeling. Now time for concealer. I'm going in with the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. I really want to highlight under my eyes today. So this is a very light shade. Oh my God, it's so wet. Like it's moisturizing. Okay, that did not sound good. I'm going to go ahead and blend this in. Oh my God, it's so satisfying watching all those dark circles go. Lotus. See you in probably an hour after I film this video. I'm just gonna wash the makeup off. <laughs> I hate wearing like full glam during the day. It's literally the worst feeling. If I ever wear makeup, it's literally just like the smallest amount. Unless I'm going out, of course. And then to set that down, I'm taking the Kat Von D translucent powder. I haven't used this one in so long. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure there's no creasing at all under my eyes. And then I'm just gonna pat this on over the top. And this is going to make sure there's no creasing at all throughout the day. If I don't bake under my eyes, I literally just like crease up straight away. It's not a good thing. Then I'm going in with my Benefit powder. This is the Hello Flawless in the shade Champagne. Oh, wow. I'm just going to <laughs> pat this on my face. My face is so shiny right now. This brush is really floppy. What's going on? I don't want to disturb the foundation, so I'm just being very gentle. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with that dark crease color once again. And that's going from outer corner to inner corner. I'm just going to take that on a really small blending brush and pack it on. Okay, I feel like that Kat Von D powder like literally took off my concealer. And then of course some mascara on my lower lashes and then we can pop on some falsies and oh my god, I'm so excited for that. Time to add some falsies. These ones are from Holy Grail, literally the only lashes that I've been using at the moment. So I just ripped all the old glue off. Now I'm popping these ones down. Okay, my microphone just died, so don't know if you heard that, but I'm going in with the Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette. This has a bunch of contour bronzers and powder highlights, like banana shades and stuff. So I'm going to go in with this color right here, and we are going to contour the cheekbones a little bit. I'm actually obsessed with this shade. Nice and warm tone. I'm going to take it around my hairline as well. Oh my god, why does that keep happening? Oh, it's like I haven't set my face properly, but I did. And then I'm also going to go in with this color down the bottom here. Okay, very lightly. Oh my god, it's so patchy. I'm trying to keep it very light-handed, but it's still... It goes blotchy. I'm just going to pick up this banana shade right here, and I'm just going to put this underneath the contour to clean it up a little bit, because, you know, it needs to be nice and sharp. This is going to make the cheekbones look a little bit deeper as well. Next up, I'm going in with this beautiful blush by MAC. It's in the shade Blush Baby. It's literally one of those colors that matches every single makeup look. So I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks for a nice pop of color. 
Okay, I obviously didn't set my face properly because everything's sticking to it. Damn it. That's why I don't understand how people don't set their face. Like, because all the products that you put on over the top just, like, go so intense. It's a problem. Next up, I'm going to go in with the Laura Geller New York Gilded Honey Illuminator. So, I love this product so much. I'm going to mix it up with um, this shade right here in the shade Diamond Dust as well, just for something a little bit different over the top. But this is like, I keep stuttering. This is like a beautiful holiday highlight shade in my opinion, because it's a nice gold. It's so pigmented. Oh my God, beautiful. I really want to make a highlight and I want it to look like this. Like, what do you mean? It's literally so hard to make makeup products these days. I've tried and I want it to be like amazing. Like I'm not going to sell something that's shit, but it's so hard to get like the perfect formula for anything. <sighs> I'm also going to go in with this one here. I feel like this has like a lot of purple iridescence to it. So I don't know if it's going to really be holiday. -y. Oh wow. That's literally blinding. I'm just going to put it on the high points right there. And then also on my nose. Okay. That's like too white for the nose. Wow. I'm going to put the gold on my nose. Now it's time for the lips. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Bad Blood. And oh my gosh, this matches my nails. I am so happy right now. Oh, I had to get red nails for the Christmas season. Like, are you serious? Okay, let's line these bad boys. I might do the Ruby Woo lipstick by MAC just because this is literally like the perfect red. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's very bright. Oh, 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 oh. The lip liner and the lipstick are completely different shades of red. What's going on? Oh my god, this is the perfect holiday red. I just had a test seat, but oh my god. Ugh, I'm just going to be basic AF and put some hoops in. So it dresses up every look. Am I right? Last step is setting the face. This is the Glam Glow Glow Setter. That kind of smells like pizza shapes. Mm, yeah. So anyways, guys, I really hope... Oh, it's lipstick, so I'm making sure it's not on my teeth. But it's like a matte lipstick, so it doesn't get on the teeth. So I'm really happy about that. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Oh, I love you guys so, so much. Let me know down below what you guys want to see in my next videos. And I'll see you very soon. Bye. No caller ID keeps calling me. I'm a stalker. That's so something that YouTuber would say. Oh my God. I've been getting like so many missed calls from a private number. That makes a story time saying I'm a stalker. <laughs> okay, relax now.